Hello everybody, welcome to One Drink Podcast, where we talk about one topic for one drink. I'm Oliver. I'm Matthew. And today on our history show, we are featuring uh, January 15th to January 29th. Yeah. Uh, or 28th. Uh, or 29th. Whichever. Uh, as well as a Medal of Honor story. Yes. Yeah. Um, changing it up a little bit. Just yeah. Just shake it up a little bit. Slacking a little bit. Yeah, it's all right. A little busy with work, but... Uh, Let's call it a new format. It could be. A new format. It could be a new format. Yeah. <clears throat> so... Matt's going to do uh, some history facts for you today, and then uh, I'm going to do a Medal of Honor story. Yeah. Um, and then we'll banter back and forth about it for about 15, 20 minutes. Got to have some good history. And the Medal of Honor stories, of course, uh, we, we can't not include these. That's what I'm saying. saying. Just, it's, it's, so, like, Oliver and I made a literally five-second decision. It's pretty easy. Yep. I was like, I don't have blah, 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 this and that. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> shit, I don't have a Medal of Honor. <laughs> and I was like... Well, I got a Medal of Honor in history, <laughs> and then we both did the wrong history show. So yep. I had some time this morning, so I did the right ones. Um, and so I gave him the history, and I'll do the Medal of Honor, and bing, bang, boom. Yeah. See, that's why you gotta have a partner on a show. So you that, know what I mean? Yeah, that was like a 10, about a 15 second meeting. Right. To kind of yeah. show, yeah. plan. And to some of these other people spend <laughs> dozens and dozens of hours <laughs> scripting these stupid shows. I spent uh, 45 minutes on my laptop this yeah. morning. Yep. And boom. Just like that. It's that easy. It's that easy. It's that easy. It's not hard. All right, people. You ready to learn? We should, you know, we should have told people how easy it was for us because now I feel like they don't appreciate all the hard work we put into oh, the no, show. No, it is hard work. Yeah. It's cool. tough, man. Yeah. You know, they don't see what happens, you yeah. know. Daily grind, man. all the stuff we have to look up, and oh, it's crazy. We have to do this and that, and you know, yeah, yeah, man. Thousands of hours of editing, you know. Yeah, I mean, we're it's hard work. It's hard work, dude. Wink, wink. <laughs> Hashtag time in. <laughs> So we're going to go to January 15th, 1967. The Green Bay Packers of the National Football League smashed the American Football League's AFL's Kansas City Chiefs 35-10 in the first ever AFL-NFL World Championships, later known as the Super Bowl. Super Bowl number one, At baby. Memorial Coliseum Champs. in Los Angeles, California. And one year later, they did it a second time. Yep. And I believe... Ran it back. I believe... The Giants and Bills played at that same stadium. Oh, that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. When Norwood missed the field goal right. But the Green Bay Packers, yes. The laces were in. They yeah. were in. Finkel. Einhorn. Einhorn is a man. <laughs> that was funny. He's got the plunger on his face. <laughs> Your gun is digging into my hip. Oh, God. Oh, that's fucking Finkel. Awesome. Einhorn. Finkel. Yeah, that was funny. That was great. <clears throat> but yes, the first Super Bowl. That was I seen highlights of that. Wasn't it like? Oh, it wasn't freezing. Was it cold? No, no, yeah. not in Los Angeles. No. What was the Ice Bowl? What was that game? It was uh, with Green Bay, right? No, no. The Ice Bowl was um, uh, Raiders. Um, oh, with John Madden, Brady. Right? It was Brady. Brady and the Raiders, or um, New England, the Patriots and the Raiders. Oh, okay. Um, which I think that one was the Tuck Rule. Oh, the Tuck Rule. That's yep. right. Yep. Stupid ass Tuck Rule. Yep. I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> yeah. That that's what that was. All right, we're gonna go to January 18th, 1912. We're taking it back. Yeah. We gotta go back a little bit. Gotta back a little bit. After a two month ordeal, the expedition of British explorer Robert Falcon Scott arrives at the South Pole, only to find the only to find that Ronald oh, Amundsen, yeah, Amundsen, like that. the Norwegian explorer, had uh, preceded them by just over a month. Roland started 60 miles closer. Oh. Dude, okay, so okay, so check this out. So That's I looked crazy. that one up, right? So there's more. There's more to that story. Oh, so shit. this dude, um, Scott and Roland, yeah, right. So they were like. Like, kind of friends, buddies. Got it. And they were both explorers, right? So, they had, like, an unofficial race oh. to the South Pole between them. So, it was like, you and me, like, bro, I bet yeah. you I'll get to the South Pole before you. Let's go. You, I bet you I'll get there before you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, they both set off on ships. That's they crazy. both had different plans yeah. to get there. And so, 
Roland, <laughs> um, Scott started 60 miles behind where Roland did. Yeah. And um, I think it was Scott was on these uh, Siberian snow machines. Mm hmm. And the other guy was with dog sleds. Or maybe it was the other way around. But anyways, either way. Yeah. One of them was with like animals and one was with machines. And the animals won. The what's his face got got there first, yeah. The That's guy with crazy. the dog sleds was the one that, That's that a cool wanted story. to roll in, yeah. But I thought it was cool that but can you imagine that heartbreak? Like and that took them months. Oh right. That wasn't just that a, that was months. Of exploring yeah. to get to the South Pole. And uh, God, can you imagine that feeling of being second? You know what I mean? Especially when you think you're like, I yeah. know my plan's going to yeah. work. I so know I'm going to get there. It was cool because when I was reading that, I started laughing because we always say that everybody remembers the first <laughs> yeah. and the last. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it was funny to me that I I found this one because he was second. <laughs> right. like, they didn't say... I'm like, I didn't find last month that that other guy made it there first. You know yeah. what I mean? I just found this guy who made it second. So this might be the the only famous second <laughs> guy ever. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And I think they just threw him in there because they felt so bad. Yeah. Like that he came in second. You know uh, what I mean? That is great. So I thought I just I thought that that was so funny that that is perfect. The guy that was the only guy that came in second that anybody ever cared about but how cool would that down. be like you know if you're able to do something like that <clears throat> you know we're just like all right man it's kind of like an amazing race type yeah yeah you know just amongst you and i we're like all right yep. first one to make it to you pick a town you pick a city and you know you have certain ways to get yep. there ah oh, that'd be fucking yeah it'd be super cool damn uh january 21st first it's <laughs> 1973, one day after being convicted of conspiracy with foreign powers and sentenced to death by the French National Convention, King Louis the 14th. 14th is executed by guillotine in the place in the in the place de la Place de la Place de la Revolution in Paris. Yep, I wish I could do it. Topped his fucking head off, dude. That's one day after being convicted. One day. There's no, like... Today you get convicted, tomorrow you get your head lopped off. Wow. And that's it. And, and that's over, it. And there's no... And now, do these serial killers and shit spend decades on death row? Wow. Just chop... Just shoot them. Chop their heads off. I think... Build a thing. Wheel it out into the center of the town. Yeah. Put the guy's head in the thing. Yeah. You know how... Billion, Done. Billions and billions of dollars oh, yeah. would be saved. Oh, yeah. Not saved, but... Yeah, maybe. What if you sold tickets to it? <laughs> or you could definitely do a side... I mean, I don't know if I'm about seeing somebody get their, like, their head chopped off. I mean, you'd have to see it once. You know, it's one of those things, you either don't want to see it or you do. Yeah. I would want to see it once, live. Yeah. yeah. I would just be like, I have, you know... Yeah. Because it's quick, it's easy, and it's... I mean, it is gruesome, it's gross, but Super if you gross. admit or are convicted of, you know, if you're like, I did kill this person, and there's a video of you killing this person. Yep. I think you should get killed the same way that you killed them. <laughs> you know what I mean? I agree. Like, if you strangled somebody to death, that's how you then you it. get strangled to death. Yes. Like, it's just fair. It's perfect. An eye for an eye. One justice. That's it. <laughs> and we'll cover that. We'll shit. cover it. Yeah. <laughs> we can be the commentary. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, but I agree, dude. You know, however you... Uh, yeah. Go out the way you... Yeah. How do you, somebody how else do you like it? Right. You're not going to like this. Oh. Sorry, buddy. But, yeah. uh... Well, you drowned your wife? <laughs> oh. Just tie a rock. Just tie a big ass rock to him. Fuck you, throw him right in the, right in the lake, dude. There you go, buddy. Yeah. All right. <laughs> on Got a, a little deep there. On a better we note, we went hey. downhill. I know. Real but fast. Sometimes you have to. I, you know, we hey, we when go you, where the show takes us. When you think about it, it's like mm -hmm. if some. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you just go where the show takes us. It down the rabbit hole. It is what it is. All right, we're going to go to January 24th, 1935. Canned Beer makes his debut 
In partnership with American Can Company, the Gottfried Kruger Brewing Company delivers 2,000 cans of Kruger's finest beers and Kruger's cream ale to faithful Kruger's drinking in Richmond, Virginia. A lot of Kruger in there. I'm I'm glad I didn't have to read that one. (laughs) But yeah, dude, the first can of beer. Oh, I love it. I thought that that was perfect, for, especially for this show. Yeah. You know what I mean? Seeing how I'm drinking a can of beer. Yeah, so I went to Beers of the World last week. Um, yeah. Oh, that says Cuca. I, really, I literally just looked at it real quick. I thought it said Kruger. I was about to be like, no fucking way. Dude, that would have been the best. Oh, my God. Um. So, yeah, I went there. They have so many beers, of course. Mm-hmm. A lot of it is canned still. Yep. Um... But yeah, dude, you can't, you've been there. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can't... I was in there for like maybe half hour. Mm-hmm. But that was just on the short end of me not oh, yeah. really just... Because there's so many and I was I wanted to get this, I wanted to get that. And of course, you know, yep. good beers cost money. Mm-hmm. But, uh... Mm. So good. That so place is great. Yeah. I love you get it. lost in there. I love beers of the world. Yeah, you get lost in there for sure. I It'd know, be cool if, like... It's right, around, it's right around the corner from my house, too, which is even more dangerous. Well, so it's right around the corner from your house, yeah. too. Yeah. So, like, if you had, like, a, a party or get-together and, like, you're just like, hey, just bring a six-pack of anything from Beers of the World. Yep. You know how cool that That'd would be? That'd be the best party oh, ever. Oh, my God. Even if it was six people, yep. you're going to get <laughs> six. would be the best party ever. would <laughs> be the best party ever. Uh, but 100%. then, you know there's going to be that one person who... Buys the you know the stuff where you can make beer oh, yeah. over to the side there. Oh yeah, I got this tub and this, damn, we're gonna make our own beer and yep. Oh man, we should get Christian back on with his mead, dude. This dude is making more and more crazy mead. We should definitely get him back on this Woo! show, dude, because oh, that yeah. shit was delicious. That was good, that was and delicious. he's got more. We definitely gotta hit him up. He'll never stop making it. I love it. No, I love it too. All right, so let's jump into this Medal of Honor. Yes. Story. Uh, today we are featuring uh, Second Lieutenant uh, Eldon Christensen, yep. uh, World War II. On 16 July, his platoon engaged in a savage firefight in which much damage was caused by one enemy machine gun effectively placed. Hmm. Second Lieutenant Christensen ordered his men to remain under cover, crept forward under fire, and at a range of 15 yards, put the gun out of action with hand grenades. <laughs> Again, dude. Dude, time and time again, we read these stories, and these guys go after these machine gun nests solo. You know what I mean? And take them out with with either like grenades, just a gun, grenade, right? Stones. This guy's shovel, lobbing grenades. It's freaking (laughs) unbelievable. Again, on July nineteenth, so now three days later, uh, while attacking an enemy position, um, strong in mortars and machine guns, his platoon was pinned to the ground by intense fire. Ordering his men to remain undercover, he crept forward alone to locate definitively the enemy automatic weapons and the best direction from which to attack. <laughs> so again, he crept up alone to find where they were He's ready. and let his men stay back. Although his Jeez. rifle was uh, struck by enemy fire and knocked from his hands, he continued his reconnaissance, <laughs> located five enemy machine guns, destroyed one with hand grenades, and rejoined his platoon. So he literally got his gun shot out of his hands. This dude's amazing. Just kept going, found five nests, and destroyed one of them. And got back to his dudes. Wow. Um, so he then led his men uh, to the point selected for launching the attack. And, calling encouragement, led the charge. This assault was successful, and the enemy was driven from the positions with a loss of four mortars and ten Machine guns and leaving many dead on the field. So they took out 10 machine guns and four mortars in this second attack. Man. On August 4th, 1944, near Afwa, Dutch New Guinea, Second Lieutenant Christensen was killed in action about two yards from his objective while leading his platoon in an attack on an enemy machine gun position. So almost a month later, or you know, a few weeks later, they're doing the same thing again. Uh, but this time he, he fell. Uh, Second Lieutenant Christensen's leadership, intrepidity, and repeatedly and yeah, repeatedly demonstrated gallantry in action at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty, exempt, uh, exemplify the highest traditions of the U.S. Armed Forces. Man. 
Savage, dude. He's a machine gun hunter. Like, that's what I. That's the word I was thinking. I'm yeah. not even kidding. A machine gun hunter. So if you know there's a machine gun nest, you know this Go guy. Get it. Right. Just goes and gets him. He's going to take care of it. Dude. So, he, yeah, he took out, let's see, one, 11. He took out 11 yeah. machine gun nests. And that's huge. And that's just in a two-week period. Right. There's no telling how many others his 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 band of hunters yeah. Yeah. took out previously. You know what I mean? And it seems like that was, like, their... Their thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they're sending like, in the wild dogs, bro. They're like, machine gun nests? We got it. Yeah. And they just fucking roll, dude. Gone. Gone. <laughs> but, I mean, nuts, it is, man. like like you said, a lot of these guys, they just go solo. Oh, man. Because they don't want, you know. Yeah, they don't want their guys in there, man. It's uh, great. It's, it's great it's freaking awesome. story. Yeah. That awesome. guy's amazing. Yep. But anyways, guys, don't forget, you can check out these history shows on our YouTube and Facebook page, both at One Drink Podcast, as well as listen to them on all major platforms. Mm-hmm. We encourage you to hit that sub button and click on the bell notification to be the first ones notified when our new episode drop. Yeah. And you will always learn something new and just share it with one person. One person. Is that it? Say it every week. Every week. Just do it. We've been saying it we'll for love you for it. Except we will. We've been saying it for almost two years now. Yeah. Just <laughs> share it. Please. Two years, two shares. I we did do it last year. You owe us two. 2022. 2022. Two shares. So I wonder how many... 22s in my shoes. <laughs> I wonder... It'd be cool to get a stat to see how many people actually like did share it. We can look it up. Can we? Yeah. yeah. On that YT app. I'm pretty sure we can see the shares. Somebody's slacking out there. That's you. We're going to be like, oh, oh my God. Of all people... Right. Bill? You Bill <laughs> Sherry? Let's go, Bill. Thank if you, Bill. Can, if we can find that Ken. statistic, maybe we'll <laughs> Ken! It's Ken! God damn it, Ken! Oh, oh shit. Oh, I gotta go back and watch that show now. <laughs> that was fucking great. That was great. Well, yeah, we'll try to look up that stat and see if we can see the exact people that actually have shared the show yeah. um, for us and uh, maybe we'll give them a little uh little quick shout out. We will appreciate you yep. more than you will ever know. Show. Michelle. But anyways, guys, until next time. See ya. Cheers.